Okay, some people have had trouble with, uh, this is module 9 and deliverable 2. So let's take that on. What we have to do is uh, we have an image, an ISO image here, and we have to mount that to our machine. And then we have to boot to this image, uh, which will be a virtual DVD. The first thing I'm going to do is shut down my virtual machine, get this thing off so that I can mount this image into it. So let's open up here our uh, virtual box and I'm going to make sure that this is selected, which it is, and I'm going to click settings over here. Once I'm in settings, I will go down to storage, and here you can see I already have an image uh, connected to this machine. Um, and if you already have an image there, that's probably fine. Uh, if you want to, you can right click that thing and say remove attachment, and it will remove it like that. And if I want to make sure, if I want to put this one, make sure that this one is attached to it, I'm going to go back up to controller SATA here and click the little green uh, that's a little disc there with a plus sign i'm going to click that guy and it will and i'll say choose disc and now i can add a new disc so i'm just going to click add like that and here it is on my desktop which is where it is here uh, i'll click that iso and say open choose and there it is so it's attached it's ready to go all i have to do is run it all right, next thing I'm going to do then is start this machine. And I'm going to watch for right after the splash screen, the VirtualBox splash screen, I'm, it'll be ready to click a, any key. So I'm going to click Start. And once the splash screen happens, right now, press any key. And you saw that uh, CD boot to CD or DVD. And it should now boot to the CD or DVD which should be, there it is, this ISO ready to install. And so that's the trick. That's what we're trying to get to. And I hope that helps. If it doesn't, let me know. We'll see what we can do about it. And there are a couple of things that you might try if it, if it doesn't work. Uh, one thing you could do, I'm going to just uh, get this. Let me be sure you cancel. Okay, I want to cancel it. One thing you could do is to... Uh, Back here on this screen, in settings, storage, uh, no, not storage, excuse me, system, and then motherboard, you could turn off the hard drive, hard disk and floppy disk to boot, and then try it that way to only boot to the optical. But my experience is that it will still boot to the hard drive if, the, if you miss that. Um, that message. The other thing you might try to do is have your uh, your mouse hovering and ready. Now this thing's all started up again, so I can't demonstrate this. Uh, let's let's actually shut this thing back down. Oops, I think I just hit the caps lock. There we go. Let's shut it back down. Shut down there. The other thing that, that you might try is when you start it up to have your mouse ready and click inside that thing uh, real quickly so that you actually put the focus of the mouse and the keyboard inside your virtual machine. So I'll show you what I mean here. As I start this thing up, I'm going to click with my mouse right now and then hit my uh, hit any key so that I can boot to that uh, CD or DVD which is actually a virtual CD or DVD. It's actually this ISO file that it's booting to. All right, hope that helps, and we'll see you later. Let me know if you're still having trouble with it. We'll see if we can help you out.